you welcome to my channel guys today we're going to be learning how to make a floral hoop if you're new you're welcome if you're an old subscriber welcome back if you're here to subscribe please click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get updates whenever i upload a new video so these are the basic things i'll be using for this tutorial i have my act wire the strong one i have the jewelry wire of 0.315 mm uhu gum blue gun and the candle gum i have some artificial flowers i have trimmies measuring tape then a pair of scissors to work with i have my art wire and um, i just uh, measured it around i've overlapped the edges i've secured the two edges together you can make use of any round metallic objects that you feel will do the job for you so i have my trimmings or ribbon and i'm going to be using my uh glue to wrap the trim around the art wire just to cover it as you can see i've wrapped my art wire halfway i just left the lower part of the art wire because i am going to be covering the part with flowers so i have my artificial flowers and i'll be using my jewelry wire i'm using the jewelry wire of 0.315 mm it's tiny and i just fix it right there i just fix it like that and i'm going to use it to wrap the flower to place the flower on the art wire so i just wrap the jewelry wire around it like that to secure it to the art wire okay so I just pick my other flower and I do the same. I use my jewelry wire to fix it on the art wire. Okay, it's just all about you arranging your flowers on your art wire or whatever you want to use. I also have this type of flower and there's a plastic thing inside. I use my scissors to cut it off. I just took it off so as to open the flower. Then I'm also going to use my jewelry wire to fix it on the art wire. Please watch what I'm doing, guys. Now there's a tiny hole at the center of the flower. I just fix my jewelry wire into it and I use the wire to secure it on my art wire as you can see i'm using the jewelry wire to secure the flower to it like that just wrap it around like that make sure it is firm as much as possible make sure it is firm as much as possible i'm just using my glue gun or my gum to fix the petal down to the wire to make it um, firm more firm and sit properly as you can see so i will just continue arranging my flowers i start with the green ones Using my jewelry wire, I fix it on the art wire like that. You know, it all depends on how you want it. You know, I have different kinds of artificial flowers here. Just place them on top of your wire to see how it's going to look like. So just place them on it like that and use your jewelry wire or whatever you want to use to fix it to your art wire. I just continue to arrange my flowers i cut off the stem okay and um, i took off the plastic at the center of the flower just like i did the other time and i fixed my jewelry wire through the center of the flower and i'm going to use the jewelry wire to wrap it onto the art wire as you can see you know it's all about creativity always remember that okay, so i just kept on arranging my flowers as you can see I just kept on arranging my flowers using my jewelry wire to secure them to the art wire 
like that. At the moment, I'm done arranging my flowers and this is what I have. If you want it fuller than mine, you can go ahead and add more flowers. You can just cover the whole heart wire if you want to. But this is where I'm going to stop. So for the part that we have in the flowers, the parts where we have the iron still visible. So I'll be using my UH glue to wrap the trim around like that. I'm just going to take the ribbon under the flowers like that. Just wrap it around like that and make it as neat as much as possible using my UH glue. Having done that, I noticed that I have some flowers still flying, not sitting well on the wire, okay? So I'm using my hot glue to secure them properly, okay? Some of the flowers where the petals are flying off, I just use my glue to secure them to it like that permanently. So this is just the idea. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Up to this point, I really appreciate you all. And I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye.